Hi everyone, I'm going to be teaching a tutorial on how to crop to talk. Um, I have another program where it it's a Pazzles program, um, Pazzles Inspiration Studio, but I know some of you have your cameos. It's for um, cutting software. So we have all these files that are cutting files. And what I did is, I'm going to bring this in. Oh my goodness, I didn't save it the way I wanted to. Well, I'll show you real quick. Um, anyway, what I did is I have it in pieces as a JPEG. I brought it in through photos. And now I'm adding my artwork. And I'm not going to be going through the whole procedure, but I'm just going to show you basically what I had to do. I had to go to Cutout Studio. And this was really intricate. There was so much in here. Um, because of the wings. But basically, um, if you use the red, it discards. So I want to discard the background. I'm going to get rid of all these dashed lines over here too. And over here. We don't want any of that showing up. Okay, I'm just going to show you real basic. And um, as you can see, the inside of this is really intricate. So what I did is I enlarged it. And I did that so that I can get into these smaller areas. And again, I'm using the red paintbrush. And I did this to every one of these. Just giving you an example. Um, sometimes you want, might want to go to a larger brush because you have a larger area. But anyhow, that's what I did, and I kept doing that, and then I hit OK. So now it's removing the background colors. Now, in this case, it's not going to be all of them. I'm going to show you. You can see, like, where my arrow is. Whoops, I touch on it. You can see where the arrow is, like, right below it. There's some that are missing that is gray, but the rest of it is white because I didn't remove them all. Okay. So then once I did that, I went and I got my uh, eraser tool. And to save myself a little work, I'm going to erase this one because I have this one over here. And this is just the mirror image of this one. So I'm going to change this to a larger. I'm sorry for the dinging. I think I might have Facebook on. I thought I turned it off. So I'm going to get rid of that one and just work on one of them. That takes care of that. Go back to my select tool. And now I'm going to go to my scissor tool. And I'm just going to draw a circle around here. Okay. Get my select tool again. And I'm going to group this. And as you can see, that cut it loose. And I'm going to throw this into my embellishments column. Okay, and this one, I don't need it anymore. I'll delete it. I'm hitting my delete button, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one, because since I removed the other one now, this one is free too. And as I said, these little pieces here are not missing yet on this, but I already have some that I did. Um, but I'm going to bring this one in just to show you, like if I try to change the color of it, it's not doing a whole lot. It's doing, like the outline looks like it's working, but it's really not. And that is because, whoops, that is because I need to change this. So I'm going to go to Tools, and I'm going to say Convert to Curves. Okay. And let's try it now. And you see what happens? This is what happened to me. That is because I didn't remove um, all these pieces. Now let me try this one. Go up to Tools, Convert to Curves, and pick the color. Nope, that still didn't work the way that I wanted it to. This is a learning process. I'm going to try doing this again. Go back to Tools, Convert to Picture. Because I had to do this with the black one. And, yeah. Why is it when I'm making a video, this always seems to happen? But as you can see, I did this one, and it worked just fine. I can change all of this. Maybe somebody can explain what's going on with this. But the purpose of this video 
is this is a card. Whoops, I'm going to bring this one here. This is a card that I had already um, created in one of my other softwares. And this piece here is made to go on top of here. And then what I also need to do is go up to tools, or no, arrange, I'm sorry, arrange, and flip horizontal. Oh. Well, let's try that again. I need to copy paste it first. Then I need to go to arrange and hit flip horizontal. Maybe it's good that you're seeing me make these mistakes so that when you make them, you'll know what, why you're making them. So this would go on here. And then this one would go on the inside. Oh, this is on top. That's what's wrong. We send that to the back. So then this one um, will fit on the back of this. So when you open your card, then you'll have something on the inside too. But the purpose of this is I want to show you where I can bring in a material. And let's see, I'll bring this one in. I'm going to put the butterfly on top. I have to bring it to the top. And what I'm going to do, and I kind of like the way it's variegated over there. And so then what I'm going to do now is collect those two pieces. And I'm going to come down to the corner over here where it says crop the top. I'm going to click on it, click off, and there you can see that my butterfly picked up the material. So let me do that again. I'll bring this in and this over here that has to come to the front. And again, I'm going to go up. I got to get both boxes in. That's what's wrong. Box them both in. Okay, now pop the top. And then here's this one to put over here. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you, and that's what I had already done to this one. I had just brought a material in. I was just playing around. I'm not even saying these are the colors that I would use. I just grabbed materials that I had. But what I'm trying to figure out that's still bugging me about this, and I think it's because I don't have all these pieces out of it, but it might be doing that. Um, wait a minute, that wasn't the one that had some pieces out. This one did. So I'm just curious. I'll bring materials in. Let me get rid of these because they're going to get in the way. Okay, so I'm going to enlarge this. And I'm going to hit Control A because that groups everything together. And I can see that there is another butterfly in there that I didn't get rid of. Let me send this to the back. There's another butterfly. I saw it. There it is. Get rid of that. Okay, so now I am going to group all of this together and hit the crop top. And because I don't have these little pieces cut out, it's, it came like this. But you get the drift. You get the idea. So if you have any cards from your other programs, what I did is I converted them to um, a JPEG with the 300 um, resolution, and I brought it in through my photos here, and then I brought it onto the program, and I went through the procedures like I was telling you. So I hope that this is helpful.